YouTube, what's happening? Check it out. We got our catcher results back. So Clint got the uh, Alchemy One, got the report back and sent it out to everyone. So I printed it off, kind of want to talk about it a little bit. It's really interesting stuff, okay? There's some mistakes in here as a preface. They did, they said an, uh, th this, there's a pair of two donated by White Mountain Knives that's M30, or excuse me, S30V that they said was S uh, M390 in here. It's not, it's just like this knife. I think it's actually identical. Maybe it has a satin blade, I can't remember, but it is S30V. So there is a mistake there. All right, so we had four knives in. You can see I'm pictured here. Uh, Line Steel M390, Kershaw M390, um, Spyderco S30 and Spyderco M390. The M390 pair of two is also mine. So these two knives I sent in. Um, one of the other gentlemen um, sent that one in and then Clint bought the M390. Dividend. All right, let's talk about this. So essentially, uh, provide a catch with four filling knives for Victor's hardness testing and cutting performance on automatic edge, edge tester. So you know, I'm not gonna read through this whole thing. Let's just talk about it. They've got pictures of the knives so you can kind of see which knives were um, in there. And then they, they talked about Bull Ram 390 and, and it was given you know to be a 60 to 62 or Rockwell hardness is what you wanted that talks about the automatic edge tester it's configured and i'm going to put a link in the description you guys can download this report um this was a community funded project so some of us did donate knives but we will get them back and then the uh funds were to do this it cost about 580 bucks or something like that um were provided by the community from donations which is awesome so so this is where we want to talk about this is the performance testing and methods here so and again you guys can download this if you want to follow along go right ahead um, but what we want to talk about here is a few things. So there's this Life TCC and Sharpness ICP. Um, so essentially the ICP is the sum of the card cut over the first three cutting strokes. Uh, the total card cut is a measure of the durability of the edge over the 60 cycle. So what Catcher does is it has a machine and it takes the knife and it cuts these silicone cards um, over and over. They have like some silicone in it or something that um, kind of creates an abrasive essentially is, is someone could probably describe it better than me, but that's how I understand it to be. So, so anyway, uh, to get to the, say, so they have some guides here, sharpness and life, poor average, very good, excellent, etc. So anything over 500 total cuts is excellent. Um, and you can see here the numbers here. So pocket knife would be the line still. Um, and it did 626 cuts. The Kershaw in M390 did 707. The S30V Spyderco did 640.9, almost 642. And the M390 Para 2 did 785, nearly 784.7. So way more than any of the other M390s. The interesting data here is, where is it? There we go, here's the Rockwell hardness. This must have printed out backwards. Um, so this is the data that I want to talk about more than anything. Make sure that's all in. Yes, it is. Okay, so we have our HRC numbers here. The M390, the, um, and we're going to verify these on with Kurt. He's going to, when we get the knives back, we're going to do another um, HRC test on them. But the line still came in at 58.5. The Kershaw was 62, so surprisingly high. The this says Spyderco Black M390. It wasn't. It was S30V. Came in at 61 Rockwell, man. They're heat treating this sucker to 61. That's crazy for S30V. And then the M390 Para 2 came in at 60. Okay. So the interesting thing here is the Kershaw M390 had the highest Rockwell, but did not have the highest cutting performance. Goes to show that HRC isn't everything, but it, it obviously matters. There's there's data right here that speaks to that. The Para 2 in M390 versus the Lion Steel in M390, that difference of a Rockwell hardness. Look at the cut difference. Almost 140 cuts. No, 160. Almost 160 cuts more on the M390 Para 2 than the Lion Steel. And it was rated at 58.5 versus 60. So there's a pretty good correlation there of Rockwell and edge uh, retention, essentially. Uh, the interesting thing was the Spyderco, man, that the, the Para 2 and S30V outperformed the M390 Lion still. Also rented a higher HRC, 61. Different steel, 
higher HRC, better performance. The Kershaw was kind of the anomaly. It had the highest HRC, but it had and it had a good number of cuts, 707, so more than S30V by about 60, 70 cuts, but um, not as much as the Para 2 by quite a bit. I mean, we're talking 77 cuts. That can be a lot of things. That can be how the, not only is the, so Kershaw is obviously running their M390 hard, right? But are they heat treating it properly? Are they getting rid of the austenite? You know, are they doing those kind of things to make it cut good? And they must not be because, I mean, it's doing good, but it's not doing as good as the, the Para 2 at a, a lower HRC. So really interesting stuff. This again, this was a community funded project. We wanted to see a very scientific way. A catcher, this is a hundred million. Got a report. You've got, you know, they. It's all put in a machine, so there's no human error. And you can see that higher HRC M390 versus lower HRC M390, you're going to have a lot better edge performance. I mean, a dramatic difference. 100, almost 160 more cuts. So pretty interesting stuff. That's the main point of the catcher test that I wanted to highlight on. There's some pictures in here of them um, doing the blade angles and the, in the, I don't even know how you say that. Gone on, <laughs> no, I'm gonna try. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try. Um, so that's some cool pictures there. They also gave us like this graph. Again, I'm gonna link this in a Google doc down below that Clint provided. Um, his information has been taken out of it, so don't worry about that. So, um, and it did say here like all four blades are of M390, which is not true. One of them was this S30V. Um, and they talked about the Vickers hardness as well. They had a catcher cutting test, you know, uh, graph here. But other than that, like I think the the really like the meat of the the meat and the potatoes here is this these two pages. So the page um, it doesn't have page numbers on it, so I can't tell you what pages are. But these two are the one you want. This this table here which talks about the um, sharpness ICP, the life and the total life of the um, cutting and then the blade angle. And then this one talks about HRCs. They did this Vicar, hardness Vickers, <clears throat> and it, it correlates like the M390 695, you know, had a lower 58.5, right? On the Vickers. The Para 2 came in at 748, you know, 60. So, you know, if there's a correlation there, it's lower, you know, the lower this number, the lower that number. Um, there is a H -H -V HRC conversion here and then the HRC. So we're really curious here as to what these numbers are going to come back as um, from when we send them, once we get the knives back from England, um, we're going to send them over to Kurt and then he's going to do HRC on them. And then we're just going to see how close their HRC is to Kurt's. You know, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty dang close. This M390 pair of three, a lot of people were thinking would be higher. It, I mean, it's in spec, but it's maybe some of the other ones have tested a little higher. So, but the S30V, man, you got to be like stoked, right? If you own a pair of two and you're like running that sucker as hard as they possibly can, you're getting better, you know, better performance out of S Spyderco S30V than the Lion Steel M390. That's not surprising to anyone, I'm sure, but yeah. Anyways, really interesting stuff, guys. Cool data. Um, you know, this was a fun project to be a part of. I'm glad I could donate a couple of knives for this. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys on YouTube that are doing cut tests, that are doing, you know, Kurt's doing HRC testing. Um, there's a lot of data out there, but there's been a lot of naysayers saying, well, it's because there's human, you know, you're, you're not taking human error out. This isn't a true scientific test. There's cardboard differences in cardboard, blah, blah, blah. Well, really, this just speaks to what's already been proven that Typically, the higher HRC, the better edge performance. I mean, that's just, it's, it is correlated. It's not everything, as you see with the Kershaw, but it, there is definitely a correlation there. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to go over this report. I just got it in, thought it was pretty cool. So, yeah, any, you know, leave your comments down below. Love to see what you, you guys see. Uh, love to hear what you guys thought about this. And um, I'll link that description down below with a Google Drive doc where you can download this report for yourself. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.